Hi everyone, welcome back to World Worship. And today, two questions I do have. The new oncoming premium tier 9 vessels or premium ships and Izuma and USS Georgia. And the first question, are they worth that? And you may argue that Izuma, if you have played this game for quite a bit, you have options to purchase her with free experience, 1 million, right? And the um, U.S. Georgia, I doubt you probably have to pay real money, uh, real U.S. dollars or euro, whatever your currency uh, is. Um, but why tier nine? Well, frankly, I do have a very s a simple question. The tier nine are the most expensive ships besides tier ten. You know, some tier ten you can only purchase if you play uh, clan battles a lot, or you know. Basically, you have to uh, put your time in this game for a very long time. But for tier 9, I'm talking about if you go to premium shop, of course, the most expensive ships and around 20% more than tier 8, the tier 9. So, of course, you may argue that the reason number one word gaming put those ships uh, to sell, you know, it's to make buttloads of money and they are very expensive please let me know is any any ship worth 60 dollars or more um, and i do honestly believe i do have the answer guys very very fast answer is the the answer is actually no now of course you do have your own economy you do have to know if if probably for you or you know you don't care about the money so sure go ahead but overall for you know the average joe weekend warrior dude like me or some other else uh, who just like this uh, game and want to play it is it worth it guys it's up to your play style but remember that this is one big large ibuki the aizuma it's soft as a cheesecake and it's extremely fragile i do believe that <coughs> one uh, move wrong move or you know a battleship uh, look at you at in the wrong way you're instantly deleted this is actually guys and this is without saying too much uh not like uss alaska because of the armor but also because of uh izuma does not have tools to help your team what do you mean well i do have a defense and radar for us alaska and uh, something else guys and this is very important uss alaska will with double rudder it's by far more maneuverable and from long range you definitely can uh dodge left and right the incoming battleship shells not so much with the izuma and by the way i do honestly believe guys the izuma it's, e it's even larger so it's larger target and her citadel it's the biggest in the whole damn uh, game it's huge it's so damn huge and it's so high in the water you have no problem whatsoever it does not matter if you're a freaking tier 7 uh, battleship you're facing this uh, monster a huge huge uh, ship guys and something else she does not have ha any dpm she does not have well she's literally a um, huge he spammer from max range that's her play style if you play anything else and something else before I go, uh, guys. If you do not own a Zhao or a high tier Japanese cruiser, do not purchase this ship because you might regret it. You have to have played the Ibuki many, many times to you to enjoy this ship. It's literally an upside Ibuki in armor. Uh, and that's how you're supposed to play. Now, Let's talk about USS uh, Georgia, the tier 9. Guys, it's freaking uh, nice now at tier 9. And something else, the only reason uh, you want to purchase her, it's basically an uh, Iowa. It's an Iowa with bigger gun, that's exactly what it is. And um, you may argue that the, the guns are great, her aid is decent, but the thing is, guys, it's very easy for wargame to make uh, uss uh, georgia because all they need to do is make a iowa and remove the guns and put other guns and guys you have uss georgia 
easy peasy easy money to make that's my honestly opinion um so by the way she does not have a radar and she does not have any tools to help your team so i'm not saying too much you go ahead but this is my honestly opinion why there are so many tier 9 uh, premium ships and something else and this is the last thing i would like to say remember the us have this um, ap heavy shells they overmatch the the angle literally uh, no matter almost what kind of angle you are it's more chance that uh, us alaska will pen you and will hit you hard eh, us shells are very uh, special but not so much the Japanese AP uh, you may argue that she's a great fire starter she is but does not have any great concealment or any um, uh, good DPM so I do believe sh she is only a good ship in a very specific good hands you have to be a good cruiser captain to enjoy this ship uh, that's my honestly opinion and um, for me the biggest problem she has too few tools that's the thing guys please let me know what you think about those two ships uh, do you agree with me about tier 9 are extremely expensive because after all wargaming wants to make buttloads of money right or do you think the the, uh, the price are fair uh, I understand that some of you, uh, you know, have these options that this specific ship you can purchase uh, with free experience. Um, however, guys, my honestly opinion, even though I do not play her, but I do have Zhao and I know exactly what I am talking about. This is not a big brother Zhao. No, no, no. The Zhao is a different story. It has has torpedo. I have... Um, uh, Total different uh, guns layout. In my honest opinion, this is my uh, Zhao can hit a battleship even at very very max range. Has one of the best rail guns in this game. Yes, I do really mean that, uh, and I can definitely show you a battle that I played uh, with Zhao. La my la latest battle. It, it was very fun to, uh, and but this is not the Zhao guys. This does not have the stealth, she does not have the rudder or, of Zhao, it's it's totally different uh, playstyle. Uh, but it's it's challenging. Do not take this uh, ship easy because it won't be easy to play with her and some of you guys will struggle to make her work. That's what I'm trying to say. Guys, that's all for today. Subscribe to my channel and please let me know what you think about those two premium ships.